Blue Fleet, set sail. Shins is here. We're playing Valhalla again. Oh, yes. It's a really, really scorching hot day in Britain today. Uh, I don't know anywhere that's like reporting a temperature under about 30 at the minute. It's uh, half past six at night. So, yeah, that's fun. Uh, what we're going to do is hope that streaming about drinks and um, nighttime will maybe cool us off a little bit. We've got a, we've got a can of... Uh, Track Brewing Dreaming of Big Skies IPA to get us through this as well. Right, so we bought ourselves a plant. Um, we are going to have a look at everything that's uh, everything that's going on here. Maybe we'll have a look through the augmented today, and then we'll get to work. And uh, see who's going to come into the bar today, shall we? Local woman, local hero. This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis World Mall, where no one, uh, sorry, people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. Just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them in mid-air and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. Oh, well. Does, it, does that sound like, um... Kim might have... Oh, oh dear, that's a dark way to start. 70% of our readers consider. This is not really a surprise, but a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. This is from a survey we conducted here at the Augmented Eye last month. We asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. With a total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good, because it sucks. It sucks so much, I barf a little every time I smell it. How can anyone like that? It's ridiculous. Ugh, I can't finish this article. I'm sorry, everyone, but I have to puke. <laughs> oh, I hope it's put out of sale. I think Alice Rabbit may be. <laughs> it's Rad Shiva. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think Alice underscore Rabbit might be a dog. Don't trust this doge. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancement, they're capable of learning at near human speed, so why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses their brilliance for programming? It makes a lot of sense, right? Well, maybe... Oh, I don't like the look of that. <laughs> oh, the dog's onto us. Oh, no. Those purple numbers. Okay. Let's uh, go to work, then. See what today's got for us. Wednesday, December the 14th. Good evening. <laughs> hey, Jill. <laughs> Um, <laughs> That's a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? Oh, just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it onto the... Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just, uh, act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. <laughs> you sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and and really, really cool. I wish I was comfortable and cool right now, but we can't have everything, can we? Hello. <laughs> it's strange that you're late, Jill. <laughs> yeah, the traffic was... Gah! Don't run, you have work to do. <laughs> okay. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what way now? Nothing, never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. Is she somewhere relaxed now? Mm, good. Are you all set? Yup. Alright. Alright, let's... Uh... <laughs> yeah, the jukebox selection. You can probably tell what, uh, what song I like. Huh? Uh, you know what, let's... Yeah, that'll do. Oh, actually... No, let's uh, let's mix it up. So, da, 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 da. yeah, that looks about right, doesn't it? Cool. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Brat, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Lucky says. 
Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual, gee, whatever he means. Well, he likes beer, and he likes big beer, so we're going to make him a big beer. So it's a uh, beer doubled up, which is, uh, so, two Adelheid, yeah, four Brunson Extract, two Powder Delta, four Flanagai, and then eight Karma Train. God, I don't want much, does he? Uh, hang on. Yeah, one more. And then uh, that's uh, all mixed. Let's get it mixed. Oh, beautiful. There you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to it. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we were supposed to end the interns in our school topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me at the first high school with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were yesterday too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The fact that... Uh, <laughs> the fact that the gal had a shining personality really helps. We've come a long way in the department of... Um, uh, um, that, I tell you. Jesus, what happens? Choose a little one, then? Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. <sighs> oh dear. It's going to be one of those dialogues, isn't it? Oh no. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Oh no. Hmm? Hey you, the guy with the John face. Oh, uh, me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was Hong Kong rights ten years ago, right? I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from anti anti riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You're in those rights, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Um, I mean, if we're going to go on, like, who you remind me of, Donovan, I was going to go with James Dokes from Dexter. Um, you know, I'm half expecting a surprise motherfucker at any moment, so, you know, that's a whole thing, isn't it? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicon business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damned riots broke out. Let's give one second. I'm just going to try... Okay, so some of my keybinds uh, for the emotes are maybe a bit blocked. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's just pretend that didn't happen now. <laughs> Seriously, though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. Now, now, why does that sound familiar? Why does that sound familiar? People in Hong Kong with augmentations being segregated. It's almost like a game we're probably going to come to at some point, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We're doing the whole Deus Ex thing in this uh, stream as well, apparently. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarising the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labour. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people who become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. 
Trying to get the full picture may take you beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Heh, <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much about. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? <laughs> Tangerine? Cantor what? When people say Chinese, they are usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you're only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because of the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? <coughs> uh, sure, on it. A Mars Blast? Okay. Well, yeah, sure, we'll make you a Mars Blast. You know, you're the boss. So, we'll six Bronson extracts. Um, a powdered Delta. Four Fly Guide. And two Carmatrine. We can't make it. Uh, hang on, is that. Is that right? Uh, hang on, six. Um, that's six, one, four. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Just need to chuck the car matrine in it and then blend it. Here it comes. Mars Blast. Yeah, nice. Here. All right, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey, kid. I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a course of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh, good. Um, fornicate those sons of bitches. Yeah, the, yeah, we're going to try and bleep out the uh, the F-bombs, I think. What'd I tell you? Are they wanted unreasonable stuff? And they feel like they have more power than you do? And all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in... Uh, what? But let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. I'm saying nothing now. Excuse me? Your readers. If you think your clients are always right, you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era when PR is first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fornicating mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. God forbid if they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in a nearby forest. All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. Oh, here we go. They're having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. <sighs> yeah, it's funny when someone else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. There was awful blood. You can't win. You'll always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. 
The old point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at Mirror. But the Mirror is a newspaper, Donovan. What are you talking about? Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Uh, hearing it from him is kind of... Damn. Look at time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview. The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it. But for some fornicating reason, she didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Why am I bleeping out my F-bombs? I always drop those. Negotiating. Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to blast that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Something bitter to wake him up. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Bitter drinks. Ooh, you want something bitter that will wake him up. Hmm. No, that doesn't look... I mean, Jill thinks maybe some alcohol. Hmm. Don't know about that one. Wait, a pile driver maybe? He just, just says something bitter to wake him up, so... Hmm, choices, choices. What can we give him? Grizzly Temple? Don't look at... A suplex, maybe? It's a manly drink. He seems like a guy who likes manly drinks, so let's, uh... Yeah, let's give him a suplex. Wait, which one Which one of these is more expensive? Pile driver or the suplex? Oh, they're both basically the same. Hmm. Yeah, no, let's, let's, uh... Let's 360 him. Let's 360 this kid. So what do we want? We want three Bronson extracts. Three Flanner Guide. Four Carmatrine. And all mixed. Okay, let's get it mixed up. Here it comes. Here. Yeah. yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid, Joel... John, Guillermo, Hirohito, I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about the Idol I interviewed. Can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So, I don't know. I feel like he I feel like I cock-blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone. Not even my worst enemies. Uh, maybe two of them. You sounded so considerate right now. I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mum. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's your dad? Did I stutter? Hmm. Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, that'd mean he'd be off work, and I need him to be up my back and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk no end about her, so... I think there's something manly and bitter. Mmm. Mmm, tasty. Oh, that's smooth. I know. Oh, I seem right about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column. It's shit anyways. Heh, <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you. Please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. 
That was uh, tiring. Hey, Jill, I think I've got a problem. Don't tell me. Yup, can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie type white knight's helmet is not precisely a common query, you know. I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's property. What? Did you run out of there? I just realised you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you going to do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, what was the number? Where's the number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. <laughs> Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will she be fine? She will. Even if there's no god or butter, you can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. <laughs> hey, honey, can you see me? Ah, oh, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello! Oh, hello, Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit, then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a VIC jammer. Not an optic camouflage system. Uh, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person's invisible. Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where the, you can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. It, what? Okay, whatever. I asked him to bring me something that would make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Oh, that's a mouthful. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any colour or texture you want. You could order a module from them and change the colours of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Why are my eyes just not, like... Uh, give bear me just one second. Oh no! Oh, what have I done? <laughs> oh, that was stupid, wasn't it? Uh, I accidentally left my settings on with the... Uh, yeah, uh, I think the camera's recalibrated now and hopefully it will work a bit better with the blinks. I, I, I might set the model back to default settings. The uh, tweaking seems to have uh, not gone so well, so please bear with me. Almost to you and I. Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie surroundings called blob. And we let them see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Hmm. Ah, uh, I, I saw that. I saw you up there, Anna. I saw you up there. You can't escape from me. Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Okay, we're going to make her a piano woman. Let's see. Piano woman. Five Adelheid. I still don't, I still don't remember how I um, whipped that up real quick, so let's just... 
do it manually. Two powder delta, three flanner guide, three carmatrine. And we're going to age it and mix it. Oh, yeah. One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones, you know. I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good! That's nice. Okay, then how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. <laughs> that guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. <laughs> I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know. Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we can hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get nausea, though. Oh dear. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Jill? <laughs> Jill, your cat does what, sorry? Do you pay him to... <laughs> Finish that sentence and I'll make sure you become truly invisible. Fine. Consider it a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, Jen. Ah, oh, Dorothy. Didn't see you last Friday. I was, um... Dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday... Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? Oh, I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did you do? Uh, Jill's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff it's hard to make connections about what's happened when. And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's really not that necessary. And it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Let's just turn that music. Will that improve the track of the camera a bit? Uh, just a sec. There we go. Let's, uh, let's try and turn the light on, see if that helps a bit. Did I tell any lies? No, but, uh, never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it, she put it on, now she's stuck. Oh, yeah, rather than putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... Ahem, <clears throat> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come by before you start. Oh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? That sounds very familiar. Really? Yeah. I go to his house at 11am, dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah. One day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wants me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Do a, does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Uh, sure. One moon blast. That's nice and easy. So we want uh, six Adelheid. 
Oh, I can just I can just grab it from there. Right, okay, that's cool. Uh, we want two karma train. And it's one flanner guide. Okay. On the rocks. And blended. Here it comes. Moonblast. Nice. Oops. Bump the microphone. Sorry about that. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Okay. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. As a factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory. Nope. Every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. That's a bit worrying. Upgrade. Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Set upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. Um, not sure if I should comment on that. And I really need that advantage, you know. How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal life is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my adventure over everyone else. Oh, excuse me. I don't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through this if I decide to retire or something. But right now I'm fine just the way I am. I see. Oh, what voice is this guy going to have? Uh, Good evening, Jill. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen lots if Jill will just, just, just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules, and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no worry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay! Honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way that she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud and uh, one one normal gut punch. Right, okay. So, sunshine cloud. That is... Uh, we want to make it big, don't we? So, four Adelheid. And let's put some Karma Train in it. Of course we'll put the Karma Train in it. It's what Mash would want. It's what Daddy Mash would want from us. Oh, yes. Alrighty. Uh, so, press next after... Oh, so it's on the rocks. Oops. I tried to click the wrong window then. Uh, and blended. Okay. Here it comes. Right, so that's the sunshine cloud. And it said click next. Or press next after the first mix. Uh. Oh, I see. Right, it's not next, it's slot two. Okay. Uh, and he wants a gut punch. It's nice and easy. 
Such a good track. Right, get that mixed. And I got punch. Right. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something, uh, privates? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updates and fees. <laughs> Good grief. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, oh, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC 72 line leaves tracking nanomachines in the other person after, uh, well... After they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose? Uh, yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking mana machines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like, that way the authority can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of DFC 72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night and BAM! Their partners end up spending their honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nano machines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nano machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, uh, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. Oh, come on, Dorothy, really? I'll tell you that, I'm nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm going to go and take my... Jill! I need you go to the ads for a second, do you? Come in. Have a slurping beer. Mm. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologise if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Uh, sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Jill's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast, huh? Okay, we've made one of these already tonight. Wasn't there a pub somewhere or a club that did like a Valhalla style um, menu? I'd really like to go there. Uh, blended. Here it comes. The blending. There we go. Mars Blast. Nice. Here. Bitter and mind numbing. Just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to a war? Not to an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, I can thank your boss for easing my mind about the other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done, 
I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Oh, I'd not to mind it if you just said... Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know where she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumour, though. Damn, I still don't know, then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumours herself. Excuse me. Uh, they're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The airmock came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. Oh, break time then. Well, these little insulins are quite nice, aren't they? Right, I saw a save there. Uh, day two break. Ah. <sighs> Ah, oh, they all look so happy. Little do they know they'll be sent into girls' frontline very soon and forced to fight and die for a nameless commander. How delightful. Boss should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone can smell the splash from a mile away. Um Yeah, let's 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 mix the uh jukebox up a little bit, I guess. We don't need the previews. Let's just let's just run through the uh, OST, I guess. There we go. That'll do. You could take a couple of minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmets off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to bust it on again. Right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sort of, kinda, yeah? Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice! What can I get you? I don't know, I don't drink that much to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavours? Bitter but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. Okay. Um, something bitter and girly. Nope. Uh, oh. No, that's sour. We don't want sour. We want uh, something bitter. Something bitter. Something bitter. Nope, that's sweet. Oh, I just looked at that one. Oh no, let's, let's work top down instead of just like clicking random ones. Nope, sugar rush is sweet. Of course, a sugar rush is sweet. Moonblast is also sweet. Okay. Ah, here we go. So it, it will it will be a sunshine cloud then. So, two Adelheid, two Bronson extract. And an optional karma tree. On the rocks. And then we blend it. <laughs> nice. Oh, we made one of these earlier. We just made it big, didn't we? Try this. Yep, this'll do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. Incredibly fucking tuny. 
I'm Kira Miki. So, should I call you Miss Miki or uh, Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira! Miki. No, 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 no. Put my spirits into it! Kira! Miki! Almost there! Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! I'm so glad I ain't got neighbours. Kira! Miki! That's it! Are you feeling it? Kira! Miki! <laughs> Kira! Miki! How much longer am I going to have to do this? Kira! Miki! And don't you ever forget it! Um... <laughs> I'm questioning all my life choices up to this point right now. I really am. I really, really am. Oh, good grief. What the hell am I doing out here? Uh, where were we, Jamie? Right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know, because I'll have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the little that's putting on a concert tonight. I'm one little that's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same little you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that, isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I see. How big is the uh, concert? We planned for a bit over the... Uh, a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans of the performers, but mine are very loyal and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many, then what exactly is? Hold on, then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it! Let's start from the top! Oh, shit. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft, as in alcohol-free? No, I mean soft as in soft. Soft. Let's see what I can get you. Something soft. Something soft. Hmm, okay. Something soft, eh? Let's go through the, um... Let's go through all the different bevies we've got and see if, like, any something that says soft, eh? Uh, this doesn't look soft. That doesn't look soft either, if you ask me. No, don't think it's that. Ah, here we are, Blue Fairy. There you go. S sweet, girly, and soft. Optional Karma Train, you say? Optional Karma Train? No, it's mandatory Karma Train. It's mandatory. It's always mandatory. Those are the rules on Daddy Mash Cord. It, the Karma Train is never optional. Always mandatory. Dems the rules. Uh, and it's aged and mixed. Okay, let's get it mixed. Nice, nice. Try this. Yeah, this will do. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Eh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and light lighting drinks on fire. That kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is that class important? Depends on what you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, uh, sure, I uh, guess. 
No guessing, are you sure or not? <laughs> yeah, do, do as you please. Okay then, who should I make it out to? Maybe Fermi Boss? I wonder if Jill would like it though. Your name, girl! Oh, for Jill then. For Jill, never lose your star. From Kiramiki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks! No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair shares of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I see. They're also very organised. They make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Oh, that's the wrong voice. I guess those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. What? I remember once one protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. Double what? And she fails to see the problem? I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organise my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, wait, it isn't! Yeah, you get me, Jill. Um... Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organised, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked for your love as a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know. Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything better? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Now, I, th I think I, there, was, there was a bitter one which was sobering. Let's give her that. Uh, was it Grizzly Temple? No. Nope. Oh, where was it? Where was it? I, I saw it earlier. A bit, uh... So, I think we want a sobering drink. We can't search by sobering, so... We're going to have to search through all of them, I think, then. Uh, sour and sobering, no. Do 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 do. I don't think we've got anything for her. Hmm. Okay. I mean, let's let's just suplex her. When you're in doubt, always suplex. Three Flana guides. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. That'll do just nicely. Uh, and it's on the rocks and it makes. Suplex. Here it comes. Try this. Yeah, this works. So, how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so. Uh... Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but, uh... Hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kiramiki, I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with a jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Oh. Why the change? 
Going from jazz and piano to uh, going from jazz and piano to idol. I keep misreading who's speaking. Dear, I mean, my character acting's not on point tonight. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Well, you mean like being a VTuber? Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working, and uh, lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of those listeners uh, actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girls' concert? Nah, I don't think so. Don't have tickets anyway. What I need is, uh, I need something to wake me up, apparently. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Swig of the beer. Hey, boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Wow, that was me, Monica, during my wrestling days. Yo. Huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red, specifically? That way, I was three times faster. It's true. It's true. Red red is the colour of going faster. She knows. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Jill's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and, uh, boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Excellent. No mistakes. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Absolute mastery over these beers. Jill is humming, Your Love's a Drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. And we can now look at Kiramiki's blog as well. Okay, well, let's go to the shop then. So, she wants your love as a drug. Idle hell. Idle hell. Yeah. There we go. We have bought the stuff. Right, let's have a let's have a look what's on the phone today. Let's have a look at Kiramiki's blog then. Thanks, GC. Dome concert. What I do to relax. Let's go for thanks, GC. Oh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I could feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This is by far our biggest show and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Miki. Okay. Hi, everyone. Are you ready for the Dunn concert? I sure am. I perform in a rather large number of concerts every year and even then I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner. And it's all thanks to you. Thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm going to perform all of your favourite songs, so please be excited. <laughs> Just one little request. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you get hurt, so please don't do it. Love, Miki. What, what do you do to relax, then? It's been very hectic of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops? I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze and see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. 
Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime, you name any tasty and natural combination and I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before a show though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. Oh dear. That's all for today. See you. We, we gave her karma train, didn't we? Well, we're in trouble. So that's what she meant by a tea-like drink. Let's have a look at... Oh, what's the... Oh, I haven't looked at this magazine yet. Danger, danger you. Dangerous opinions, eh? Okay. Uh, huh. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? Oh, yeah. I remember the cybercrime unit of the Appen's ass. December 17 will come the second retribution birthday is coming. That fun. Oh, boy. It's happening. <laughs> Time for despair. Oh, shit, fuck. This is like Mume Cord when Baron cooks rice. That feeling when I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens with people on IPs on the wrong thread? Hi, Cybercrime Unit. I just want to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact you're mum. Why are you guys so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. This thread is closed. Yeah, it's literally, it's literally Mume Sanctuary. <laughs> Did that one on the left? I think so. I never left. I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry, we're here for you. Any ideas for the Great Revelation? Do you know if you like it yet? Look, I just don't want to ruin our friendship. We've known each other since we were very young. So she's like your child si childhood friend. It's like one of my Japanese animes. Yeah. Okay, this is what you have to do. When Miki ends singing Loves in Paradise, you kiss her. Kiss? Of course, just try to imagine how magical that moment would be with the fireworks and the epic guitar solo. I'll uh, think about it. In the, least, in the last thread, Anon hates fun. I don't want fights. You people are immature. What's wrong with a guy being in danger you? Why do you care if we assume you're a girl anyway? Fuck off. Dudes, in danger you. <laughs> Let's go back to the concert, please. 2070X and you stupid idiots still care about petty shit like this. He started everything by mentioning he's a guy. <sighs> anyway, we should gather someone to take the train to the stadium together. Not a bad idea. We can make an official danger you meetup. Like I want to be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of my friends. Okay, next round, I'm going to moderate the fuck out of this. No more shit posting. Yeah. Uh, anything on there? Nope, we'll read, read the augmented eye, shall we? Neo San Francisco, rocked by an earthquake. Millions saved. A powerful 8.6 8 magnitude tremor struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. During a conference call, Glitch City's Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at NeoSF for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. For an example of the fall, and we're certainly looking forward to implement these advancement in earthquake predictions here in our beautiful city. Glitch City is not currently known to be a seismic zone. Kiribiki confirmed as the best pop star in history. Oh, he's a fanboy, isn't he? He's a simp. <laughs> Donovan's a fucking simp. <laughs> Mmm. Oh god, that beer's delicious. Yeah, it's called Dreaming of Big Skies. Track Brewing Company. Absolutely lovely. It's one of the nicest um, beers I've had in probably the year, actually. Mmm. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. She's the best. Like, she has had to be handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. She's the top tier everything. And I'm baffled as how there are uh, still people out there hoping to be as awesome and hot and great. They can't. It's impossible to a human to top such an achievement. I, for one, welcome our new Roboco overlord. Roboco said? If only, could, if only I could call her senpai, huh? Oh, well, next time. Interview Gloria Light and uh, her quest for a Tino award. Nice hair. In today's interview segment, we sit with Tino award nominee Gloria Light. It's an honor to be here with you. It's my pleasure. Tell us more. Content blocked. Oh, no! GDPR! We got hit by GDPR. <laughs> you look pissed. It's a local page. Oh, dear me. Okay. Anything else? Can we, can we get an app? Are there any apps we can get there? Well, let's, let's uh, throw a cheeky save in there as well. Yeah, that'll do it. Right, let's go to work. Thursday, December the 15th. Good evening. Oh, hi there. 
Ahem, I was expecting the bar to be uh, different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Alma? Ah, Leonidas. <laughs> <laughs> Julian. Marcelo. I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. Don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Alright, I, th I think the jukebox looks alright. Yeah. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction. It's kind of stuck. Huh. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. To J... J... Uh, I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kira Miki girl came here yesterday before our concert, actually. Oh yeah, now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, actually. No, no one likes B-Link. No one likes that band. Any, anyone who claims they do is a liar. I, yeah, I, I'm convinced at that point. The uh, stoic-looking duo, right? Yep, those. Heh. <sighs> Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alba, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. But like my mum says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Hey. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all those pics you have of your boss. The ones filling your phone's memory. Some seem sneakily taken to that. Ah, oh, is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true. Shut up. I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Oh, I really like this one of us sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You... Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yes. Nice and easy. Uh, so two bronze and extra. So two of all of those. Four Carmatrin on the rocks. Get it mixed. Bad touch. Here. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humour. Like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. What was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. Oh god. LARP? Live action role playing. Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or a military organization. What does he role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the wood, and fuck in the open. Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those and did something I'd rather not deal with at all. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... You see? That's the problem right there. You say you're breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationships, things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? <sighs> last night. 
Your cat doesn't count. A year ago, it was, uh, messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. Fuckboy? People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs, putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head. Oh, spicy. Dozing off, knowing that they're there, watching you, protecting you. I can't remember which emote it was. No, I've, I need to rebind that one. That's the one that I couldn't bind. Damn it. The heart eyes emote. Oh, well, we'll, we'll uh... I'll, I'll go through my binds again at some point. I just have to start on my numpad again. Uh... Jill? Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Juan? Juan. Drinking won't stop me from talking, or making taste as puns around Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? Huh, ventriloquism. Weird? A weird drink? Yeah, something different. Experimental, uncommon. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Something promo, eh? Okay. So what, what was it she just had? Uh, what did we make her just now? We made her a... Um, a bad touch, wasn't it? So a bad touch is sour. So if we want, we'll try and find something that's um, sour and promo, I guess. That's spicy. Let's not go spicy. Yeah, let's try Zen Star. Four of in four of everything. I don't think I've made one of these yet. Wow, it's literally just everything that's chucked in. Okay, on the rocks and mixed. There we go, one Zen Star. Let's see if she likes this. Here. Yeah, this fits the bill. It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Read, they leapt at the chance to uh, sell drinks that would make uh, would be unmarketable otherwise. Oh. You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini, and then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines. That's a hacker. What's your opinion on the whole Alice underscore rabbit thing? Uh, wait, what if she's Alice underscore rabbit? That's the silence of somebody who just heard someone stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepared just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember that it was just petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. Yeah, I remember them as well. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. Oh yeah, wonder what, what were they called again? What were they called? The whole Alice underscore rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything everyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet the press made up. The antithesis of your usual bogeyman, if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity. But it might be anything. An individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So Alice underscore is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They started trying to hack stuff without knowing the consequences or the risks. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damned Alison's little rabbit thing. I see. But enough of that. There's one more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out some time for too long. Or sometime. Oh, uh, that. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my present make you that uncomfortable? No, I, uh... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. 
That way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. Mmm, spicy. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone will fill my entire bathroom. Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm uh, not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up so early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10am, you know. That's early morning by my standards. She sounds like my wife. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm going to need another drink here. Like, say, a big brantini. Finally, that's the Almorano. Big brantini. We're going to make a brantini. So, uh, God, that's a lot of Adelaide. So, I stir six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three powdered delta. Double it up to six. Two carmatrine. Aged and mixed. Nice. Here. Yeah. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BCC got a hold of Brand of Vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So, on a weird whim, they changed the name. I see. You know, I was wondering. Yeah? Don't you worry about what the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide. Not really. You don't. Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Uh, not really. Most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why, sh why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's beside the point. I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs. It's not like every day's a thrill. Do you meet with your clients, or...? I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. I remember I once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. For security reasons, right? Actually, because that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hissing on me or pestering me after the job's done. I also don't have to lose time providing my uh, proving my worth because big boobs equals small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself... Uh, they weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run of the mill security checks. I don't know. Maybe I need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something. Give them what I expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? Just things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So many Alice underscore rabbit headlines and made me wonder about the hacking business too. Oh, I remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave now. See ya. Take care. Um, hello, sugar. Ow. Oh, it's Donovan. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Like me pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fibre. They're hard as fuck and that's all my abdomen felt. <laughs> Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry. You're safe. You're flaccid in the field at my summer house. <laughs> a bit of advice. You shouldn't provoke the ones serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today I'm making this a quick one. Gotta to tend to my business in a while. Having said that... I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says. <laughs> Three days and he's got a usual drink. Alright, big bear. Two Adelheid. Four Bronson Extract. Two Powder Delta. Four Flower Guide. Eight Carmatrine. Like a Carmatrine dream, this. Uh, and then all mixed. One bear. Delicious. And on that, yeah, let's have a slurp of the usual, shall we, Donovan? Mmm. Lovely. Sure, this will work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? 
That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So, I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I was get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the end result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get to the right people drunk. Hmm. Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Ah, oh yeah. That big titted Lillian was here? She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something. Well, I love what she does with so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here. Anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. Hey, kid, do you think Lillian have, uh... T-shirts? I, I can't fucking say that. Excuse me? I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but they could be modded, you know. So yesterday, while interviewing the singer Lillian Chick, I kept wondering if those... If that top had a t-shirt. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity's killing me. Uh, but I'm even more curious about the engineers that design them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the uh, tits on a little look good? A bunch of guys and a... Joyous engineer. I'm not. I'm not saying that. No, this is, this goes on to YouTubers of all. If I say that, I'm never. I'm never. Oh no 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 no, Donovan, you filthy bastard, man. God bless those sons of bitches. <clears throat> Any uh, interest in preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share me information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Uh huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece and even better makes you toilet paper. They talk about how the organisation is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. Uh, what of them? I sent a message to some outlets saying they have proof of their claims. That they're going to release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, uh, that'd be interesting to uh, see, I, th I think. I know, right? Alright, kid, give me a bleeding drain so I can call it a day. Okay. Bleeding drain? That's the first time you've ordered something that wasn't a big beer. Right, so. Uh, one Bronson extract, three powder delta, three fly and a guide, and then blend it. We do. We shake when we blend. There we go. One bleeding Jane. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. So, I've heard this is uh, Dana Zane's bar. Is that true? What? Never thought I'd hear about the undefeats of the West again. More so after the incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some uh, bears. Six years ago, a cash strapped Dana Zane into an underground ring for money. Face ten enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had a prosthetic then too. I heard someone suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. <laughs> Threw it so hard, her arm fell off. <laughs> I lit the at ad. A for one, and the legs will fall off. But that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumour. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank you for winning me my second yacht. I knew better than I was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it break time? Ah, oh, delicious.
Let's, uh, yeah, let's save. Let's save on the break time there. That's nice. And back we go. Of course it's safe to keep playing. Hmm. <laughs> ah, boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with the BTC regional manager. Oh, everything all right? As all right as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything's being put in order. Oh. I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible, to re-insign you ASAP after closing. Oh. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. They want to close the only bar in the old area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. Huh. What about Jill? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? The one who bought a levitation position uh, potion and then threw himself off a building. Now that, if you played Morrowind, you probably uh, remember that particular reference, the scroll of the carrying flight. <laughs> nice. Ah, yes, the uh, levitation potion story. You use weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway, I find it hard to believe that Jill would find a job after all this. Just who is Jill? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir. You guys do know I can hear you, right? This place looks familiar. Excuse me, is this the uh, VA11 Hall A bar? It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh god, what is Say planning now? Hey, excuse me? I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? Uh, sure. Na drink whose name was changed after people was to stink. Well, we just go through all the drinks then, don't we? And see what, um... What, what could it, what could it be we wonder? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the descriptions. Um, the drink that got its name changed after a bunch of ladies complained. See, I mean, PG-rated shows. Favorite beer I've sat since 2040. That could be it. Um. Ah, here we are. Piano Woman. This is the one. There you go. See, this is why you read the descriptions of the drinks and such. So, five Adelheid. Five Bronson Extract. Two of your Powder Delta. Three Flanagide. Three Camtrine. Age it. Mix it. Piano Woman. Here you go. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So, you know say, Miss... Uh... I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes. Look at the way her eyes are just, like, rotating constantly. That's kind of freaky. Kind of cute, though. And the cat is as well. Yep, in fact, I'm glad you know her because she left here this, this here last time. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Yep. Oh, God. So she left her helmet behind again. Not the first time, huh? Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return, at least. Oh, quite a few people. Says as much for sociable girls, she's a total klutz. At least when she's not being serious. She's very competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. So did she recommend you this place, or...? 
We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. Hmm. Say, is that Kirimiki's autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday just before the concert. Really? I, I, I mean, she did? Yeah, nice girl. Can, can I see it? Sure. Yep, this Starlight signature is hers. So your name's Jill then? Yes. Ain't this nice? Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Luckily, I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello. Where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh, you're helping. Will it take long? All right. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I take it that was say. Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. All right. Drink in honor of a good friend. Um, was that the piano man? No. I feel like I recognize the description. Created in honor of the its dearest, its creator's dearest friend. Ooh. Which one could it be? No, I don't think it's these ones. through all of those. Drink in honour of a good friend. Hold on. Now, the other day, um, didn't someone say the piano man was named in honour of a good friend and then the friend went out of his way to slap them down? Or something. I think, I'm sure I remember that being a thing. I haven't seen anything else in the descriptions which could kind of match what we're looking for. Um, hmm. I think it's I think it's a piano man. Yeah, the rest of these aren't. They're not giving me any. I'm gonna make a piano man. Wow, this is testing my memory a bit, huh? And then five flanner guide. Okay. On the rocks. Mixed. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Oh, nice. Thank you. Wow, I'm impressed with myself. May I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eye, is it? No, it's not, so at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the uh, fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. So it had to be done, otherwise I would have died shortly after birth. They hardened in response to physical trauma. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it though. I'm sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. Well, I guess I read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. But their colours, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their designs. It sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not so. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah. 
I started with my grandpa's collection. I've been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I managed little by little. Do you like alcohol? Uh, do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody, I don't tend to drink much. I see. Sorry I'm late. Welcome. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in a rush hour traffic too and figured uh, walking might be faster. Luckily there was a building with the emergency stairs nearby and I climbed down. Climb down. Took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but uh, I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? N no, no, flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, you'll be, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was... You're at it again? You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. They need to be able to answer these kind of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill out here with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Whatever, please order something normal, would you? That'll be two fringe weavers then. Oh boy. You'll have two drinks at once? No, no, we're sharing. What? Like half a glass for each? Isn't it better if it's one for each? Don't worry, you'll see. Okay. Two fringe weavers. All the car matrine. One uh, Adelheid, and then aged and mixed. One Fringe Weaver. They're going to get absolutely drunk off their nut with this. All right, there we go. Two Fringe Weavers. So? This one's for you, and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I would, whatever I asked for, right? Oh, that way. You could have said so earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be saved for when you're on the, when you're the one rushing... <laughs> Let's try that again. Those spares should be saved for when you when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you use it. Those helmets cost money, you know. Yeah, sorry. Should I say that Boss got a red stock because of a jam button? Speaking of money, you're still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow. Yep. You worried? I'll refrain for now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be. It'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumours. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. Uh, everyone's on edge. Yes. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? You're quite strong, but uh, I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way you can vent all your frustrations. All right. Seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You coming, say? Nah, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then, take care. Bye. She's such a worrywart. That means she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Uh, bacon? Not that I mind, I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things evolve the smell of what's nearby. Uh, I must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. I see. Do you believe all that stuff about tensions growing that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell you the truth, I am a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. 
Some even say that the ones they do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on, Saibatsuko's main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. Something about the associates' fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. And I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately they seem... restless. Too much politics, though. It hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed uh, to relay some information to the manager, and I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said you're such a simpleton that you'd never give the wrong message, but it's his intention that counts. Oh. Finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla! <coughs> Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances, you disturb another clients. Oh, come on, you know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. I forgot what voice I did for earlier, shit. <clears throat> it's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. <laughs> hey, you you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why, yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One, f one for both. One for each. Alright. Two blue fairies. Two blue fairies. Let us whip up some blue fairies. What's that? Four Adelhide. One Flanagide. With optional karma tree. Mandatory karma tree. We know it's mandatory. Uh, aged and mixed. Slot number two. For Adelhide. A final guide. Optional Karmatrin. Aged and mixed. It's Pomu. Two fairies. Hey, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue like your hair. It is. So, what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. Alright, Say, I'm Dorothy. Say, Say. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Say, Say. Yes, yes. Say, Say. Say, Say. Say, why did you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes Fuckboy over there. <laughs> Poor Jillian. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the what-you-see-is-what-you-get type. That look on your face is one that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're hearing what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. So if you invited me to a drink because you found me cute and that's the extent of it, I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other night? Who? Oh yeah, the one with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid mat. Oof. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with the things you shouldn't have. Uh... Your tongue is a BEB069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. What about them? I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes. The joint, tongue, joints and skin are merely interesting, but your hands are the uh, MIRD113 of Realty Industries, a model designed to shoot Class 5 bullets from its fingertips. So? Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmentations and Modifications Law on the topic of ballistic augmentations. 
Any human or a sapient creature under civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of class 3 grade or high will be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. Uh, what are you going to do? Nothing. Huh? I'm not in law enforcement. I just do rescue. And even if it was, I'm not juicy right now. Oh. I want to know, though. Why go through with that upgrade? That girl's going to take care of herself, you know? I want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Can I give you some advice? I guess. The reason I can tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You could get a small mod that changed them into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. I see. Well, I gotta go. Oh yeah, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, one is one's is self-defense. Anything more is assault. Y yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye, bye. Please come again. Ah, I thought you were gonna take me away. They were putting me mad on a vacuum cleaner for three years. So if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although, I'm tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading top. Very prehensile. Intuitive. Also, it vibrates. Extra flexible joints. Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating. Hey, my skin's my first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes me feel so soft no matter how much it's been battered. Alright then. So, you fancy yourself a diviner, reading people and all? Not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lillian. What can you say about me then? Let's see. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's an even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know who won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanour is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff off on the fly. All of that was just rubbish, I said, because it's eight, right 80% 80 of the time. Generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am, but if you'd let me satisfy your frustrations, I can still for some time. Go. Fine, fine. Bye bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has gone rather far, eh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuckboy. Everything done? Yeah. Hey, boss, this might seem random, but... Do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason I've been hung up on it since this morning, and I just realised why. The visage that welcomed me back that was uh, Jill trying to pull your hand out of the jar. Oh, yeah, that... <laughs> I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. I just kind of put my hand in and it got stuck. It was a French jar too, so I could just break it. Hey Jill, how'd you get me out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, glove solution. Yeah, that brings me to the random thought. That instant, the helmet yesterday, the many times your foot got stuck on something for stomping it. Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Huh... Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. Then there was the incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have been labelled uh, the Z and S better. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the uh, 5Z one. Still, just constantly. Um, yes she is. Now, nah, go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I like to think she'll make an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. Oh, I want to believe. Oh, nice. That's three days on the bounce with flawless service bonus. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. 
Okay. Excellent, excellent. Right. We've gone through two days. Um, I think that's a good place to wrap it up. My voice is starting to hurt a bit from all the uh, heavily accented Yorkshireese that we're speaking. Uh, so, let's just go... Um, where is it? Here. Yeah, we're going to pull over to here. Oop. I'll appear in a second. Oh, wait, nope. There I am. Oh, wait, no. What's happening here? Ah! I didn't have the, I didn't have the uh, window set right, apparently. There we go. There we go. There we are, yep. Yeah. There we go. We got, we, got it. we got it there in the end. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Well, anyone who's come today, thanks for coming. Um, it's been some fun. Tomorrow we're playing StarCraft. Uh, playing from half past six BST. The VOD for Valhalla will be going up onto YouTube shortly, so look out for that. That's coming soon. In the meantime, I'm going to go and play with my camera settings, see if I can tweak VTube Studio again and uh, get this avatar behaving, shall we say? Um, I mean, I, I've, it's, it's me with the settings. It's nothing with the avatar itself. It is all my tweaking that's kind of made the settings go a bit messy. So I'll reset VTube Studio, see if that sorts it out. Um, but look forward to StarCraft tomorrow. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves, and especially if you're in the UK, stay hydrated, stay safe, and just be careful tomorrow, because it's uh, looking like it's going to be a bad one out. Thanks for coming.